In this video, I will talk about fraud detection, why banks struggle with that and how data streaming can help detecting fraud in real time at any scale. Let's get started. This is Kai Wehner with Confluent. One real world example for fraud detection with data streaming is Capital One. Capital One saves around $150 per customer per year on average. That's huge numbers. That's massive volumes of money they can save. How do they do that? Data streaming can help with many different things. One of them is reducing the risk. Reducing the risk means you detect fraud while it's happening, not too late like in your data lake. So let's take a look when a payment happens. The customer initiates a transaction, sends dollars, to another bank account. The data is transferred in real time to the back end, where the risk system takes a look at the data. However, the risk system also needs data from other systems like the CRM to correlate the data. With this, the risk system can now make the right decision in a context specific way to approve a payment or decline it. With such a real time system, you can detect the fraud before it's happening and not too late when the fraud already happened and you lost the money. But it's not only about the risk reduction, it's also about cost reduction because fraud detection is a very expensive task. The fraud detection really depends on what transaction you do. Let's take a look at different options. First, we looked at the very expensive risk analysis of a very big transaction. Here typically humans are involved too. This is very expensive and it takes a long time. For very big transactions, this is okay. But how do we do that for millions of transactions per year which have low volume? In addition to this very complex risk analysis for big transactions, we can also automate the processing of smaller risk analysis in real time by building new applications. This risk analysis works without a human for millions of transactions. It's deployed in parallel to the complex risk analysis, including humans. And with this, you can optimize the business process and risk analysis depending on the volume and other characteristics. The streaming platform enables this by decoupling the applications from each other. So you can automate and scale like you need and embed any different technology or risk model into this business process. And with that, reduce the overall cost for the infrastructure and for the people you have to employ. However, it is not just about increasing the revenue and reducing the cost and risk. It's also important that banks provide a good customer experience. Let's take a look at a concrete example of context-specific decision-making with a streaming platform to provide better customer experience. Let's assume the customer does a payment and at this time he is at home and sends a $100 payment. In this scenario, the bank knows that the customer is at home. This is the location-based service with the mobile app. So that because it's only a $100 transaction, it's approved. We know all the data about the customer and the CRM system. It's an automated fraud model. And this can be executed without, without, and this can be executed without big risk. On the other side, let's take a look at a payment when the customer is away. Oh. If the customer is away, maybe in another country, we need to change the processes and business rules. In this case, we evaluate the transaction volume and the location and a lot of other risk factors. Based on that, the bank can decide we decline this payment, but typically this is not a good customer experience. So instead, we add other security features like two-factor authentication. And with that, the customer can do a payment even remote. The point here is that this is context specific per customer based on all these individual characteristics to make decisions in real time to provide a good customer experience and reduce the risk for the bank. This is only possible with data streaming that works reliable at any scale and can integrate with real time and with non real time systems with data consistency across all the different data sources and data sinks. I hope you learned a lot from this video about fraud detection with data streaming. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel 
And also take a look at the description below where you will find more videos and other content around financial services and fraud detection with data streaming. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Wenner with Confluent.